Please don't make me sit in the hall. Regan's running late and I've already been sitting here half an hour. And your neighbour with the pink Ugg boots keeps coming out to talk to me. I won't bother you. I'll just wait quietly for Regan. Truthfully, I was happier now. Not that I was going to admit that to Levi. So far, being Regan's charity case didn't require much. Just going down to the dining hall together and helping her ridicule everyone who walked by our table. She liked to sit next to the kitchen door, right where the buffet line dumped into the dining room. She called it parade seating, and no one was spared. Oh, look, what's empty. How do you think the poker's like? Well, the trip driver's beard. <laughs> His girlfriend's carrying his tray. God, look at her. That is one shiny trickle. Do you think they really met in American Caroline? I think they met in New York. It just took them five years to get here. Oh, what's got three o'clock? Is she wearing a coat on tail? I don't know. Wait for it. No. no. I kind of like a tail. If God put me in your life to keep me from wearing a freaking tail, I might accept the assignment. It's bad enough that your homemade son is snow posters. Do you have gay son with snow posters? Leave them alone. Pretty sure I don't remember that from the books. When I write them, they're in love. What do you mean when you actually know? I don't want to know. It's hard enough to make eye contact with you already. Soccer Sandals is finally talking to Venezuela and Lindsay Lohan. Oh, thank God, the sexual tension is killing me. Are you a waiter? Presently? No. Can I have the line time counter? <laughs> what? I'm trying to figure out why you wear all black sometimes. Maybe it's just because I'm really gothy and dark. We're only on certain days. Or maybe it's because I work at Starbucks. Really? One day, when you need health insurance, you won't think working at Starbucks is all that funny. So what are you working on? Studying in silence. Hey Regan, you wanna head out? My heart says hell yes, but my grades say not tonight. It's seven o'clock already, and I need to get two essays done early enough so that I don't look like saying I have a walking dead tomorrow. It's seven o'clock already. I I gotta go. You're leaving the dorm after dark? Do you have a date? No, I'm meeting someone to study. Don't walk home by yourself. I walk home by myself all the time. Yeah, but you don't rock the little red riding hood vibe. You're scary. I really don't think murderers care about self-confidence. You don't? I think murderers go for easy prey. The young and the lame. You're not lame. Come on, let's go. Why? Taking you to the library. You don't have to do that. Regan's being a nerd and staying in the study, so I need something to do. Oh, I'm sorry, Levi, that studying in college is unheard of to you. Just go, Kath. It'll take five minutes, and if you get murdered, it can be our fault. Are you coming? God, no, it's cold outside. And so, Levi ended up walking me to the library. He tried to talk to me about buffalo. As far as I could tell, Levi had a whole class just about buffalo. He seemed like he'd major in buffalo if it were an option. Maybe it was an option. Do you see what I mean? Cows, bad. Buffalo, good. Cows, good. Buffalo, better. This is all very important information, you know. That's why I'm telling you. Vital. Ecosystems, water tables, shrews, going extinct. Call me when you're done, Little Red. I don't have your number. Call your room. I'll be there. 